Jeff Zucker defended how his network covered Trump endlessly on the New Yorker radio show. Let's listen. So the one part of your coverage from the beginning of the Trump political experience till now that you've been somewhat self-critical of is the number and length of coverage given to the rallies. Can you talk to that? So early on in the summer of 2015, uh, we, like the other cable news networks, but CNN aired a lot of his early campaign rallies uh, in full, unedited. And I think in hindsight, if we could go back, we probably wouldn't do all of those. I think we probably did do too many of them. I do not believe that's why he's president of the United States. I do not believe that's why he won the Republican did the, nomination. Did, did the numbers shoot up when you put his rallies on? Well, there's no question. There was tremendous audience interest. Now, you have to remember. What would have happened if you put a rally on by Jeb Bush or, or Rocco Rubio? Well, we, we put some of those on, and, and I'm not going to sit here and pretend that there was anywhere near. Um, there was much more audience interest in Donald Trump's rallies, I think, for a few reasons. One, he was the pr Republican frontrunner almost from the start. Uh, secondly, we're in the business of covering news. He made a lot of news at those rallies by saying things that were out of the norm of any political candidate, certainly a Republican candidate. And third, you know, it was uh, it was also an entertaining uh, rally, and it was hard to take your eyes off of. Now, I understand people say, well, it's hard to take your eyes off of, of car crashes as well. But, you know, he was running for, for president of the United States, and I don't think you can just dismiss that as something that we should make the decision not to cover. This is coming from the guy who, in the previous segment, we just played the clip for you, he said, look, all CNN is interested in is the truth. That's it. We're just looking for the truth. And now he's saying, well, yeah, sure, we gave, like, disproportionate coverage and overwhelming coverage to Donald Trump and his rallies and aired them in full because it's entertaining. And that's why we should cover it because it was entertaining. Wait, which is it? Do you care about truth, like you said before, or do you care about entertainment? Those are not the same thing. Those are really different things. He, guys, I can't, he's a joke. Jeff Zucker is a joke. He's turned CNN into a laughing stock. I mean, it's always been pretty bad, but now it's just so clear. Um, Trump got $4.6 billion in free media. Way more than every other candidate. $4.6 billion. Now, you could say, well, look, a lot of that was them attacking him. That's true, however... Look at the attack CNN used. Every time they got mad at Trump and they were, let's cover this for a year and a half. It was fucking PC outrage. They ran the, oh my God, here's a clip of Donald Trump cursing back to back. <laughs> Unbelievable. People looked at that, they go, I don't care. So the problem isn't that they covered him, it's how they covered him. They gave him a lot of free media, aired the, you know, unedited full rallies when they didn't air other peop people's rallies to the same extent. And when they covered him in a negative way, they just were shitty at it. They didn't, they don't focus on policy. And that's the main point. So if you're in the, in the news business, as he says he is, yeah, you have to cover facts. You have to cover issues. You have to cover policy substance and be a watchdog to people in power. You didn't do that. You were looking for ratings. Like you just described, Hey, entertainment, what am I going to do? What, you're, what you should do is cover their platforms, the issues that they stand for. When they say something that truly is egregious, like Trump, when he said, we have to take out their families, talking about murdering civilians on purpose in the Middle East, that's when you push the outrage button and go nuts, but you missed those. You weren't there to discuss the actual outrageous things. So he's just so bad at his job. And um, just always remember, guys, they covered Trump's empty podium over Bernie Sanders' speeches. So even the idea that, well, Trump was just more entertaining than everybody, that's not necessarily true. I, get, I grant you that he's more entertaining than Jeb Bush because a fucking plate of cabbage is more entertaining than uh, Jeb Bush. But if you give people the option of watching a Bernie rally... That mother- he catches on like that. That's why he went from nobody even knowing who he was, 0% in the polls, to winning 47% of the vote. Because he's entertaining, and he's also informative, and he's talking about real issues that affect real people. So the decision wasn't even made based off of what's entertaining, and definitely not made based off of what's factual, and let me cover policy. The decision was made based off of what Jeff Zucker thought might get more eyeballs and be better for CNN in the ratings. That's what went into it. 
and it was a terrible decision. I have no problem with you covering Trump and covering Trump more than the others because he was the front runner. But if you're going to do it, do it right and talk about policy, talk about substance, and you didn't do that. So spare me with your nonsense in the previous segment about how, oh, we care about truth. You don't care about truth at all, and it's crystal clear.